include everything. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna actually import an audio file, show you how to do that and how to get it to play. So, uh, if you haven't done this before, it's similar to importing a font. So we're gonna import it using an audio tag. We're gonna actually assign an ID here so that we can target it later. You then put the source of the file like you would anything else. And then um, you have what type it is. In this case, it's audio and pay. So in our jQuery here that we have set up, remember our document.ready is just basically saying, hey, uh, run jQuery in here on load. So we're gonna go ahead and just set a variable here. And we'll call it buzzer equal to, uh, oops, I always put the quotes first. So we're gonna set it equal to the ID buzzer, and except because there's so many things in the audio file, uh, it's an array, we actually only want a zero index. Now, what is this gonna do now? So now, when we call our variable and we call the play function on it, when our page loads, it should say our time's up. Time's up. There it goes, cool. So uh, that's how you're gonna get it to play. Now the reason I'm showing you this is just because as of right now, uh, I'm probably not gonna go through again and again everything counting down. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna remove this reset button. This is only supposed to be shown when our break time is over. At least that's how I wrote it. So. Um, Definitely a matter of opinion. So the way that we can do that is we can just target the reset ID and then we'll put dot hide here. So on load, it's gonna actually hide that reset button. So let's go ahead and save it and we should see it hiding. So cool, there it's gone now. We have a much more easier, um, is, everything's looking a little bit more clean than it was before. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, where's the next good place to start? Well, why don't we do the addition and the subtraction buttons? Those are pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and do that. The way that you're going to do that is with a simple click function. We'll do the uh, minus 5 clock right here first. So, get a little space here. I'm going to say, look, in here when you are going to be messing with the ID uh, minus five clock, we want you to, one second guys. Sorry about that. The auto run was driving me nuts and it was making my screen flash. So what we were trying to do here is we want to take our minus five clock and we want to say, look, when you click this, I want you to run a function that does some stuff. Now what's that stuff? Well, we need to get this value and then minus five from it. So the first thing that we're actually gonna need to do here is create a variable to get that value right when we enter in. So we'll go ahead and just create a variable. In this case, I call it count. We're gonna set it equal to. So now this is gonna be a string and the correct way to do this is really to turn it into an integer. So we're gonna parse the int and then in here, we're going to go ahead and target break num. And then we're just going to call dot HTML. And we forgot some brackets here. And we it's good to check to make sure you did everything right before moving on. So we'll go ahead and console.log out our count. Let's go ahead and pull up the console real quick. Save our code, let's run it. We should get five. There it goes, and then there's our five, and it's an integer. Um, if it was a string, it would be in quotes. Cool, so let's go ahead and minus this five clock function right now. So the first thing that we can do is pretty, pretty straightforward. We want to say, look, count is equal to count minus five. Now the better way of writing that is just putting minus equals five. So I have my thing subtract um, each time. So we'll go ahead and console.log out our 
our account here. Now what's actually going to happen is we need, we're going to need to change that HTML value. So that's pretty straightforward. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and do it like so. We'll just target it, our value, which we called at that point ID of num. And we're going to say, look, change the HTML to our count value. So we're basically minusing 5, and then we're doing it. So let's go ahead, we run it. And then we want to minus, so there's 0. You see the value change. There's negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. Now, this doesn't do us a lot of good because we don't want to have a, we don't want to work negatively. So we're going to set a little bit of uh, logic here that's only going to basically let it run if count is greater than 5. That's all we're going to do. Basically saying, look, you have to work at least five minutes or none of this is going to make any sense because uh, you can't work a negative amount of hours. So let's go ahead and save that. And we will actually reset this value real quick to 25 and move on. So let's see here. So let's go ahead and uh, run this. So we're at 25, so there's... Something broke. Count is greater than five. Interesting. So save and did we change the wrong one? No. Oh, we set this to break num. So what we needed to set this to was num. There we go. Now let's go ahead and minus so run our code. Should go in just a second here. So we go minus, there we go. And it'll go all the way down to five, but it won't go back. So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll do the next three, and we'll set up the addition, and we'll set up the subtraction and addition for break time. So thanks for watching, guys, as always. And don't forget to like and Ah, you know what, fuck all that. Uh, we, we're only four minutes in, let's go ahead and do the addition. This will be real quick. Uh, what's so great about this is a lot of the functionality is the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this to save some time. So go ahead and take this. Instead of minus 5 clock, we're going to change this to add 5 clock. And same thing, uh, minus the if statement. Because we don't care how long you work till. Um, if you got that type of grind, you know, God bless. And we'll go ahead and add a plus on here. Go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and clear this. We're also going to run this. Should load in just a second. We can also comment out this for future so it doesn't mess with our numbers. So we're able to minus. So there's 20. Goes up 25, 30, 35. So there we go. Back and forth. And we're going to do the same thing here. Except now we're just going to do it for the break time. So let's clean this up a little bit. All right, and then I believe there's a tidy JS. So I tidied it up a little bit. Just gonna copy and paste both these now, the minus and the add. And instead of add five clock, it was minus five break and add five break. So we're gonna change this first one, minus five clock is going to be minus five break. And then same concept, except we need to create a new variable because that time may be different. So we're going to do the same thing here, except uh, we're going to have a var break time. And we're going to do the same thing. Parse the int. We're going to have a target the break num, the number that is on our page. Get the value from that, the HTML, do, do, do. All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna go back down here and we're gonna say if break time is greater than five, break time is equal to break time minus five, and then we're gonna change the value of break num to reflect break time and we can take out these consoles at this point because we know our code works. We're just changing values. So let's clean up our code. 
So there's our minus five break. Now let's do the same thing for add five break. And we're gonna say break time is equal to break time plus five. And we wanna target our break num. And we wanna change output the break time value to it. And we'll take this out, save our code. Let's run it. Should go in a second here. All right, so we haven't changed this to 25, so this still works. Cool. See, all the way down. This won't minus five. Oh, it looks like our, oops. So something's wrong with our add five clock, add five break. Let's go here. We have a add five break. Click function break time plus equals five. Break num. Oh, here it is right here. So our HTML is incorrect. So uh, let's go one more time and run it. Usually little syntax errors, um, luckily. So now we can add it just fine. So I said you're gonna be able to add and change this value. Um, up next, what we'll do is some Java code showing how to uh, do a countdown real quick. So we'll see that in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share us help a ton, and a special thank you to anyone supporting me on Patreon. It really is appreciated. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my collaboration with Eric Surf 6 going over how to get started coding. And if you're looking for some coding help, go to Code Mentor using the annotation or card. And if you're looking for internships or part-time jobs or full-time jobs as a student or a recent grad, check out wayup.com. See you guys next time.